We are in Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. Joshua was a second generation leader for Israel. He followed after Moses. Moses was a phenomenal leader. He had led the nation for 40 years and, and then he was gone. And Joshua had to take over. And it's always difficult when you're stepping into a very uh, successful space and, and you have to perform after somebody who's done so well uh, like Joshua is. And so God commissions Joshua and he says, well, Moses brought the children from Egypt up to the Jordan. You're taking them from the Jordan to the promised land. And that's Joshua's assignment. He's supposed to see the end of the process. He has to bring Israel to the promised land, the land that Abraham saw, the land that Moses spoke to them about, and now Joshua has to make it happen. So God says to Joshua, when you get to the promised land, every place that the sole of your feet will tread upon, it's yours. In other words, Joshua, uh, what I give you is what you take. You, where you go is what you gain. If, if you just sit in your tent, you're going to get your tent. If you go 10 miles after your tent, you get 10 miles after your tent. You can go as far as you want to go because everywhere you go is your possession. So the question is, how far can you go, Joshua? And that's the question God is asking us. How far can you go? How much do you want? How far will God take you? Because many times we limit what God wants to do with us because we don't take the steps towards the place that he has promised us. And walking requires a lot of work, a lot of hard work. And in Joshua's case, a lot of fighting as well. But that is how he gained his victory. A couple of things that you have to learn about what God wants to do in your life. First is that you don't underestimate what God can do with you. God says, yes, I was with Moses, but I'm with you too. Don't underestimate what I can do with you. You know, many times we like to live our lives under people's shadows. And you see somebody who is so successful and you think, oh, I can never be like that. I can never achieve like that. I can never get to that extent. God says to, uh, to Joshua, you can go beyond where Moses took the people. And so I just want to encourage somebody. Maybe it's your parents or maybe a friend or or your pastor, or somebody else who is your role model, and you think they're so successful. But remember, God can also use you, and God can do great things with you. Don't underestimate what God can do with you. And you don't have to look down on other people's work in order to achieve. You can respect them, you can honor them, but you can also trust God to do great things with your life. Don't underestimate what God can do with you. And then you have to match whatever you are expecting in life with God's glory and God's ability to provide. When God says, I will feed you, he's not going to feed you because of somebody's bank account. He's going to feed you because of his resources. If God says, I'm going to help you, he's not going to help you because of somebody's strength. He's helping you because of his strength. God's promises are fulfilled based on his ability not a human ability. So although you may not see anybody who can get you where you want to get, God knows how to get you. So always match your expectations with God's resources. And he's able to do it for you. Don't underestimate yourself and see the possibility of what God can do with your life. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are more than enough for me. Today, I take a step out into your infinite supply. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. There is no limit to what God wants to do with your life. I'll catch you again. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.